Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll begin our lesson with problem number 41. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. It says, What's the distance from A to B if it takes X hours? with the speed of y kilometers to go from A to B. Very simple, very straightforward problem. For example, if we were to plug in numbers here, for example, if we were to go 30, 30 kilometers per hour, if you can plug in 30 for y, and if you go for 3 hours, then how would we find the distance from A to B? Well, it's 30 kilometers per hour, and if it takes 3 hours to get there, of course, it's 90 kilometers from A to B. How do we find 90? Simply 3 times 30, which is exactly what it is. It's going to be x times y. We just have to show the work. So we know it takes one hour. We know that it takes one hour to go y kilometers because it's y kilometers per hour. So in one hour, in one hour, we go y kilometers, which stands to reason that implies that in two hours, in two hours, we can go two times y, and in three hours, we can go three times y, and in five times, in five hours, we can go three times, uh, five times y, and so on and so forth. We're not going one, two, three, or five hours. We are going for x hours. So that in turn implies that in x hours we should be able to go x times y kilometers. X times y kilometers. That's it. That's your answer. X times y. When the problem is too simple and you try to explain too much, this is what happens. Let's do another one. Shall we? A little bit more. A little bit more. More, more challenging, this was too simple. So the answer is the distance from town A to town B is x times y kilometers or x y kilometers. Let's do the next one. Number 42. A car travels at the speed of 150 kilometers per hour. How many minutes does it take to travel m meters? Do it yourself if you wish. Pause the video and do it yourself one more time. We are told that we are going at the speed of 150 kilometers per hour. Question is how many minutes? So that's the first thing we should notice. The speed is given in terms of hours, but here we are being asked in terms of minutes. We have to pay attention to that. How many minutes does it take to travel m meters? Again, m meters, but the speed is in kilometers. So we'll have to convert our distance from kilometers to meters and our time from hours to hours to minutes. Here we go. So what do we know? We know that we can go 150 kilometers in one hour. Convert your units right away immediately in the next step. That in turn implies that we can go 150 times 1000 because there are 1000 meter in a kilometer. So that's how many meters we can go in one hour in one hour, which is same as 60 minutes. So if we can go this many meters in 60 minutes, that in turn implies that we must be able to go one meter in 60 over this quantity. 150 times 1000. Well, we don't want to go one meter, so I'm going to, I'm going to write this, I'm going to write out this word meter because this is M and that's going to confuse. Why don't we call this, why don't we call this x meters so that we don't get confused. So if one meter takes this much time, this many minutes, see this is in minutes now. If one if one meter if one meter takes this much time, this many minutes, two meters will take twice as much. Three meters will take three times this amount. This three times as many minutes. We don't want to go three meters, we don't want to go two meters, we want to go x meters. So that in turn implies that x meters should take 60 times x over this amount. 
we cannot leave it like this obviously we have to simplify it but this is it that's the answer we have to simplify it and that's it once you simplify it your answer if you did it, if your answer if you did do a good job of simplifying it if you did present it in, in its most simplest form your answer will match one of the four or five answer choices that are given to you in the exam whether it's SAT or ACT or GRE or GMAT it doesn't matter you have to simplify this you can't leave it like this or can we do it Let's do it here. This is the, these are the numbers we're dealing with. 60 over 150 times 1000. Don't forget we also have x at the end, times x. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. Let's divide top and bottom by 10. If we divide top and bottom by 10, we can knock out one of the zeros. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. 6 divided by, 6 divided by 3 is 2 and 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5, 3 is a 15. We see a 2 here, we see a 1000 here, let's divide top and bottom by a, a 2. So we end up with 500 times 5 at the bottom. 500 times 5 is 2500. And on the top there is nothing left, it's just x. So it's x over 2500 minutes. The question was, how long will it take to go x meters at the speed of, how many minutes it will take to go x meters? at the speed of 150 kilometers per hour the answer is it will take us x over 2500 minutes we can't leave it like this we cannot done yet we need to verify that answer we, we need to verify that answer and we're going to verify it as we always do by converting this algebraic problem into an arithmetic problem by plugging in the numbers so let's just plug in something here we know we're, we're going 150 kilometers per hour we need to plug in something here for x here. How, how far do you want to go? Let's plug in some something nice, some nice, nice, nice number for x here. How many meters do you want to go? Plug in some big numbers. We cannot plug in 2 or 3 or 5 or 10 because these are meters, these are kilometers. We need to plug in something, something nice, something big. And that comes through practice. I'm going to plug in, watch what happens. I'm going to plug in, let's do it with the red pen so you can see it. I'm going to pretend that we're going to go 15,000 meters. What, what happens? Let's plug in 15,000 meters. Well, 15,000 meters. Okay, I'm not going to write everything down. You just have to follow me here. 15,000 meters is same as 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers if we want to go, we are going at the speed of 150 kilometers per hour. If 150 kilometers takes one hour, 15 kilometers, which is what that is, 15,000 meters, 15,000 meters, is same as 15 kilometers. If 150 kilometers takes one hour, 15 kilometers should take tenth of an hour. A tenth of an hour is how long? A tenth of an hour is six minutes. If this gives us six, if this answer comes out to be six, then this answer is correct. After we plug in 15,000 here. Let's find out. Is 15,000 divided by 2,500, does that equal to six? And if that's the answer, then we are correct. 15,000 over 2500. What, what happens? Again, let's divide top and bottom by top and bottom by 100. So two zeros cancel out. And how many 25s? How many 25s does 150 have? 100 has 100 has four 25s. Four 25s are 100. 150 has six 25. 150 divided by 25 is six, which is exactly what we said. 15 kilometers. This is 15 kilometers, this amount that we plug in here, 15,000 meters, that is same as 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers should take a tenth of an hour. 15 kilometers should take a tenth of an hour, which is 6 minutes, which is exactly what we are getting here. That tells us that that answer is correct. Now, if we had plugged in something small number here, the, uh, the work that we did here, the arithmetic that we did here would have been tedious. Plug in something nice depending on the situation. Sometimes situations call to for, calls us to plug in a small number. Sometimes it calls us to plug in large numbers. Because obviously we are dealing with meters but the speed is given in kilometers. So plug in some nice multiple of a thousand. Do you understand? Let's do the next one. Number, number 43.
Susan can read. E pages in M minutes. She can read E pages in M minutes. How many hours will it take her to read a book containing three hundred pages? Well, she can read P pages every three, every M minutes. P pages every M minutes again. The time is given in minutes, but the question is being asked in hours. How many hours will it take? So once we figure out how many minutes it takes, we need to convert that those minutes into hours by dividing the amount of minutes that we find, the number of minutes that we find to read P pages by 60 to convert those minutes into an hours. And that's something we have to remember at the end to do that, otherwise of course the answer will be wrong. Let's do it together, shall we? So we start out, we start out with what we know. What do we know here? Well, we know that she can read P pages in M minutes. Let's start out with that. She can read P pages in M minutes. Well, if you can read P pages in one minute, uh, M minutes, that implies that you should be able to read one page. You should be able to read read one page in M over P minutes. For example, for example, if you could read two pages in M minutes, one page will take half the amount, M over two. If you could read five pages in M minutes, one page would take one fifth of the amount, M over five. If you can read P pages in M minutes, one page should take M over P minutes. But we don't want to read one page. We want to read a book containing 300 pages. So multiply both sides by 300. I can, I, I, I can write a new sentence or we can just make a little room here and multiply by both sides by 300. Let's do it in a red pen because we have the flair for the dramatics. We don't want to read one pages. We want to read 300 pages. So multiply this side by 300. Therefore 300 pages will take 300 times the amount, of, amount that it took us for one page. That's it, we're done. That's how many minutes it will take. M over P times 300 minutes. The question is not asking how many minutes it will take. The question is asking how many hours it will take. We need to divide by 60 because there are 60 minutes per hour. As you can see, minutes will cancel out and the hours will end up at the top. 300 divided by 60 is 5. 300 divided by 60 is 5, so we end up with m times 5. The answer is 5m over p hours. That's how many hours it will take her. That's how many hours it will take her to read a book containing 300 pages. Again, we're not quite done yet. We need to verify our answer. Let's quickly verify our answer. Again, by plugging in numbers for the variables and hence converting this algebraic question into an arithmetic question. And we've we'll solved the problem arithmetically and see if we get the same answer as what this quantity is telling us. What do you want to plug in? Make up any number that you like, any number at all that comes to your mind that, that makes your arithmetic simple. I'm going to pretend that we can read 10 pages in 3 minutes. Why 3 minutes? Because here we have 300 pages, well, something will happen. Well, well, actually that wasn't the reason. Why 3 minutes? I don't know why, just for the hell of it. So let's do it out here. So if we can read 10 pages in 3 minutes, so if we can read, let's do it here, 10 pages in, in 3 minutes. Notice how I'm leaving the room in between. Watch what happens. If we can read 10 pages in 3 minutes, that tells us that we should be able to read 100 pages in 30 minutes. 100 pages in 30 minutes, that implies that if you want to read 300 pages, 300 pages would be 3 times as much, 90 minutes altogether. 
90 minutes 90 minutes is hour and a half so what does it tell us that tells us that that tells us that if we if we plug in 10 for p and 3 for m in this quantity and if this quantity works out to be one and a half hour 1.5 or 3 over 2 then this is the right answer again one more time how did we arrive at hour and a half because we have pretending that we can read we can read 10 pages every three minutes well if you can read 10 pages every three minutes if you're reading 10 pages every three minutes 100 pages should take 30 minutes 10 times as much we don't want to read 100 pages we want to read 300 pages 300 pages will take three times as much 90 minutes well 90 minutes is what we have we are being asked in terms of hours hour and a half let's see if this gives us hour and a half and enough of the talk where can we do it let's do it right here 5 5 times m which was we had plugged in 3 here remember 3 right here in the black marker 5 times 3 over 10 5 that divide up and divide by 5 we end up with 2 we end up with 3 over 2 hours there we go in in 2 seconds we can verify it 3 halves of an hour is hour and a half that tells us that this answer is correct I'll see you tomorrow okay bye now